calculate the slope of the graph. It's not different from how we calculate slope. It's the same approach. You just draw a right angle, triangle, as big as possible. This is my right angle, triangle. So my slope is given as change in the vertical axis, which is t squared, divided by the change in the horizontal axis, which is capital L. So I look on my graph. Over here, I have one smaller box above the 3.5. And since each bigger box is 0.1, each smaller box will be 0.01. So this is 3.5, 3.51. So we have 3.51 minus this second point. This is 2 2.6. 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, 2.65. divided by the first one, its corresponding horizontal axis value. So this is the first point I read, eh? Its corresponding horizontal axis value, that is 32.5. Then look at the second one too. Its corresponding horizontal axis value. Now, over here, each bigger box is five. Can you see it? That means that each smaller box will be 5 divided by 10, which is 0 0.5. So this is 5. This is 10. Then we have a smaller box after 10. That should give us 10.5. This one will give us 0 0.86 divided by 20. Two. So 3.51 minus 2.65 will give us 0 0.86. And 32.5 minus 10.5 will give us 22. And when we divide this by that, we are going to get 0 0.03909. And what will be the unit for our slope? It is the unit of the vertical axis divided by the unit of the horizontal Axis. So second squared per centimeter. That becomes our unit for our slope. Please, whenever you calculate the slope, don't forget to add the unit. The unit of the slope is the unit for the vertical axis divided by that of the horizontal axis. So vertical axis second squared divided by centimeter. And this is called second squared per centimeter as we've written here. They could also ask you to calculate the value of T squared when capital L is equal to any number, for example, 20 centimeters. So when they ask you that, look for where the 20 centimeters is. So when L is equal to 20 centimeters, this is L is equal to 20. You will draw a line from that part to touch our straight line. Then look at its corresponding value on the horizontal axis. Over here we have 3.0. We have 3.01, 3.02, 3.03. But it is in between 3.02 and 3.03. .03. So that will be 3.025. Then the unit is second squared. 
They could also ask you for the value for L when capital T squared is equal to any number at all. For example, when capital T squared is equal to 3.2. So this is 3.2 on the capital T squared as is. You draw a line from that point to touch our straight line. Then read its corresponding value on the horizontal axis. This is 20, 20 20.5, 21, 21.5, 22, 22.5, 23, 23.5, 24, 24.5. So it's between 24 and 24.5. And that'll give us 24.25 centimeters. That is approximately 24.3 centimeters. That becomes your value for your length. So these are the kind of questions they can ask you. And all those deductions, you can make them if you draw a graph that is huge enough. Now, if you want me to prepare a video on breaking the axis for both the horizontal and the vertical axis, comment in the comment section below. I'll bring you values that are so close to each other for both the horizontal and the vertical axis values. Then I'll plot that graph, then we calculate the slope all together. Thank you.